Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use PDFs in Google Classroom. I just got an email from a reader asking about this, so let's make a video and show you how it works. All right, so here I am in my demo class, and let's say I just want to share a PDF with my students as a material in my classwork section. We go to Create, and I'm going to select Material, and we'll say, you know, check out this document. And now I can add it. I can do it in a couple of ways. If I just select File, I can upload from my computer, and I might use this PDF that I have here on my desktop. Select Upload. And now they can see it. Right? And so I can post it that way for all of my students. But if I wanted to use a PDF not as material, but as an assignment, let's take a look at how that works. Go to Create. We'll do an assignment. And we'll say, you know, complete this project. You might say, follow the directions in the document. Now, again, I can add the file that way. And I can go and upload it. We we'll use that same file again. And we'll see students can view the file. Now, the other option I have here is I can go to Add and select from my Google Drive the file that I've uploaded. And so I've uploaded that as a PDF to my Google Drive. And I'll say students can view the file, students can edit the file, or I want to make a copy for each student. I'm going to make a copy for each student. The student won't really be able to edit the PDF, but they will be able to have their own copy in their respective Google Drives, and I can now assign that to them. Now, similarly, I can go into my stream and just say, check out this PDF and add it in that way. It won't be an assignment. It'll just be an announcement. Perhaps I'll go to my Google Drive again and I'll use that item. And you'll see here, now I'm just going to post it. It's not going to make a copy in my students' respective Google Drives. It's just going to be there for them to click on and look at. So that's how you can use PDFs in your Google Classroom. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.